what's going on guys Werner FPV here so I don't usually do stuff like this you guys are not used to hearing my voice but today I'm here to talk about the most mind-blowing invention known to mankind since the internet so I'm coming to you live from uh, yeah, the tiny whoop training grounds and um, yeah today I'm gonna be talking about the VFly VFly 1S charging board what is it let me explain so here I have a fundamental problem I want to use my fancy schmancy Evan Turner X2 Kit RC 533 charger to charge my 1S LiPos so I can fly so I want like storage and discharge functions right you want all the stuff to prolong the health of, of the LiPo so there are a few methods of charging 1S LiPos you see and I've illustrated here with the following big brain diagram so first people who still use a USB charger to charge their LiPo so this is really inefficient don't do this and then you have people who are rich and they can afford a dedicated charger so you have like oh it has like storage functions and what and um it's discharge functions but what if I just want to use my big XT60 charger so we move on one more round and you have the big brain guys who have like charging harnesses so it's something like this I bought it from like Aliexpress you can just like you chop off the PH 2.0 and you solder on BTs on, on there but the issue is that if you're, you're like me I hate I hate doing mental math um, when I'm flying right all four have to be plugged in you have to plug in all four light poles in order to charge and um, yeah it's just so really irritating because if you're not flying in, in like multiples of four batteries or six batteries you're just you're just basically screwed so let's put, put all the junk away and I'm gonna tell you that the best possible solution is this three two one so enter the Vifly whoop series board so yeah it's really pretty simple and um, yeah no brainer product and in the box you just get the board itself it's pretty cool um, it's just a single layer PCB underneath you have the XT60 solder on here as well as like a six cell balance cable you have a knob that can be switched from like 1S to 6S so depending on how many lipos you have you can adjust the number of cells that you want so for example if I plug in like on like 1, 2, 3, 4S 4S, that would read as a 4S lipo and I would charge it normally just as I would and the coolest thing is this is a series charger not a parallel charger so all those hassles of um, make sure your voltage is the same on all your lipos before you parallel charge you don't have to care about that here I can plug in one at 3.7, one at 3.8 and the charger will handle it just fine um, so do bear in mind that this thing has got a 1.5 amps fuse I believe so um, well I mean like there's no reason for us to be charging like a tiny 1S LiPo at more than 1.5 amps anyway <laughs> most of us are not like Min Chan you know or some people can charge at 10C or something but yeah it's really pretty simple so let's say I want to charge these three LiPos right so I'll just connect like one and two oh, I can't see and three Yep, and then um, I'll just switch the knob to 3S and then I'll just plug them in the charger, it's that simple. Right in. You can see that we've selected 0.5 amps on 3S and we are good to go. Charging nice and well. So yeah, feel that um, the, la the last thing that I want to be dealing with um, when I'm like out here to fly is just like so many different weird cables to charge my batteries. I just want something simple and easy and like brainless. And this really, really like fits the build. It checks all the boxes. It's cheap. It works. The knob, <laughs> the knob is actually a surprisingly good idea. Uh, yeah. So I have some links down in the description. They, they are not affiliate links, by the way. I'll just send this for like fun and testing. But if you want to pick one up, you can get one from like tinywood.com or like AliExpress. Um, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Um, Gonna do some flying now.